Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is solve maths problems with your pen. The OneNote for Windows 10 app has some amazing math tools built in, and they especially take advantage of inking in OneNote, and that'll work brilliantly with your Surface device. Let's write down some equations in OneNote. And before we get too far, let's put some lines on the page so that we've got some structure to work with. We'll click on View in OneNote, and then Rule Lines. And you'll notice this drops down a list of different types of lines that we can apply to our page, for our maths work, we probably want to use some sort of grid line layout. Now that I've got that down, we can write out some simple equations. For example, 10 plus 10 equals. In order to find a solution to this using the math tools that are built in, we first need to select this equation. Now under the draw menu, you will see a lasso select tool, but we don't need to use this tool. We can actually just hold the button down that's on the side of the surface pen to switch the pen into a lasso select mode and then we can select the equation that we've written down. Once we've done that, we'll click on Draw, and across the right-hand side of the Draw toolbar, you may see this in a drop-down, or you may see it directly on the menu, you'll see Maths. So if we click on that, it opens up a column down the side of our page here in OneNote, and you can see that it's correctly interpreted my equation in text. If I wanted to, I could click on Ink to Maths to insert that text and overwrite the handwritten text that I've got there. I don't want to do that though in this case because I do want to see my original handwritten equation. But underneath that you'll see that I've got select an action. And with this simple equation the only option I've got there is to evaluate it. And you'll see that it's come back with the answer to that equation which is 20. And underneath that it gives me the opportunity to expand out and show the steps that I used to get to that point. Now that I've got that information appearing down the right hand side, I can simply drag and drop to put that text or that solution back into my document. And you'll see underneath that OneNote's even going to go a step further and offer me the chance to generate some practice quizzes. In this case I've chosen to have three questions generated and you'll see that this tool then goes off and creates a form using Microsoft Forms which is part of Office 365 and it puts that form, embeds it right into my OneNote page here. So I can actually go through and do this quiz now. So I'll do the first question. I'll deliberately get a couple of these wrong. 30 plus 2. I might do this one here. 40, 25 and 15. And the last one, I'll just pick a random number. I'm going to submit this. And you'll see that it's taken my test results there or my quiz results. So you can imagine that a math teacher could use this to gather feedback from the class. And in my case, I can actually then go and see the results and see which questions I got right and which questions I got wrong. So that was a really basic example. Let's get a bit more complex. Let's use this equation. X plus seven squared equals 100. So I wanna evaluate this equation to find out what the value of X is. Once again, I'm gonna hold that right click button or that button on the side of my surface pen and select the equation. Go to draw, find the maths button, and you'll see that it has correctly interpreted that equation for me over here on the right hand side, and I can select an action. So once again, I can go and solve this equation. You can see that there's two potential solutions there, three or minus 17. I can expand out to the steps as well. But I'm gonna go back up here and actually look at the other options other than solving for X. I have plot both sides. Now this is one of the things that I found most useful using this tool because I've now got a graph of this equation. I can see the curve there on the X and Y axis. And with my pen, I can actually point to the graph and it will tell me the values for both X and Y at a specific point. So using this graph, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. And as I hover my pen over the X value line, I can see exactly where it intercepts the Y value of 100. So I'll know just by looking at this graph, yep, there it is, 3 and minus 17, showing there visually on the graph. Thinking back to my experience doing maths in school, this would have been invaluable because it would have really enabled me to fully understand how this equation worked and how both sides of the equation would interplay together. So I'm going to go ahead and insert 
this particular graph on the page at the current view that I have and I can move that around and you could see that I could then again use my pen to draw over the top of that. So using an equation like this I could take it back a step further I could say maybe x plus 7 squared is equal to y and I could then plot that out once again I'll use the select button select the equation use the maths function to evaluate that and see a simple graph plotted in 2D with x and y. I could then insert the graph onto the page and maybe consider some other solutions for y and their associated x values. So if I go back a step here and rather than graphing the problem go back to the solution you'll also see that I can expand the steps out using different methods. For example if I step this out using the quadratic formula you can see that it's come up with a whole set of solution steps for me that I can use to hopefully understand how we got to the solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this bit of text back across into my document. If you're trying to do this with touch or pen you've got to pause for a little bit before you start dragging across and there you go I've got my whole solution set. So I can sort of work through this with my pen again and maybe highlight and indicate things that I do and don't understand. Now before you go and start throwing maths problems at me like I said I'm not a teacher I'm certainly not even a math student uh, but what I have found in working with my children in the later years of high school for example this is a very useful tool in both helping me to understand the problems that they're working on and also to help them understand these more complex maths problems. If you found this tip helpful remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips. Math capabilities built right in that is sorry this is clicking in this little bit of plastic. Ah, oh, that was useless. <laughs>